Hi, we're very excited to welcome Old Abe Camp 8 today from the Appleton area to honor one of our Civil War heroes, Chester Hunsinger. Okay. So the Hunsinger family were early settlers. They first moved to Hurley in the late 1800s, or 1880s. In 1891, they managed a hotel in downtown Hurley and then moved to Saxon by 1895. And Chester worked in the woods and lived in Saxon until his death. Well, the Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War is the organization. It's a national organization and we have camps, we call them, which is similar to a post for other veterans organizations. And we honor the Union Veterans. Uh, this project is to find the last Union Veteran who uh, was buried in each county and put a marker on their grave. So that's what we're doing. We found the last one in uh, the county and we're marking the grave and now we're doing the ceremony to dedicate. What we do is we're gonna march in as a group and, and uh, when we get up to the grave, we will post colors and then the Legion will post their colors and then uh, the Legion, will, we will salute the grave and the sons will take their places around the grave the American Legion will go past and go into their rifle squad and uh, area, you know, and uh, take their places, and then we'll begin the program. We thank you that in the day of trouble, hour of danger, that thou in thy infinite wisdom raised up men who were ready to do battle, and if need be, to die, so this country might be preserved. Amen. In the memory of brave and loyal hearts, who dared stand for the right and were not afraid to bear their breasts to a storm of steel in defense of human liberty, a united country, and a brotherhood of men. Bless our country, preserve it in purity and integrity. Amen. If I may be so bold as to quote from the epitaph from another time and place, tell them of us and say, for there tomorrow we gave our today. Spread the ashes of that disposable, disposable flag on his grave too. Mark. Then ask your blessing on all here and your protection as we depart this hallowed ground. Teach us to be ever mindful of the sacrifices of those that have gone before us and hold in your tender mercy the defenders of this great country. Amen. Go in peace. It means a lot. I, I didn't realize what a Civil War veteran was until I started this. But all of a sudden, it's our history. And so I'm all excited about it. I found his home set. I found all kinds of things about the man. Right next to his grave is his daughter buried right there. He out, he had five children, three girls and two boys. And he outlived them all except one boy lived longer than him. So it's hard to believe, but back in the 1800s, disease came through and wiped out whole communities, towns, families. Yeah. So. Uh, it ain't surprising when you really think about it, but he outlived them all, and, except for one boy. He was only 67 when he died. Mm. So, it, it, I, I just love this. I, I think it's a, it's a part of our history. I, want, I know I got a bunch of my grandkids here, and I'm glad they can see this, because we don't think much of it, you know. And this stone is beautiful. It's just like Arlington, this stone. It's beautiful. And then we had Mike Secor. He's a UP engraver. And he donated his time and thing. We got right in front of it. We got it covered up. Now we are revealing that it's a star that says the grant, the last veteran from the Civil War buried in this county is here, and and it's a G A R, which stands for Grand Army of the Republic. That's what the G A R stands for. So uh, I'm excited about this. But we have two more buried right down this end here. We got in our American Legion in Saxon had their stones cleaned up by this Mike Secor. And they're right just down here past that uh, little, where all 
some flowers there? You sure. can see a little bit of white there. There are two beautiful stones there from Civil War veterans. So, but I don't know much about them. There's nothing, no history on them or anything. This man, we tried to find some family. We're not been very successful, direct relatives. Uh, there were, I talked to a person up in Minneapolis that was doing a genealogy on a family, but they said they couldn't find those direct descendants of them. So we haven't got nobody here that I know of from the direct descendants. Wish we would. Um, we're just honored to be here and honored to be a part of the ceremony. In behalf of all the veterans presented here today, I'd like to present to you a token of appreciation, a very honoring our country. He was a good soldier and he fought a good fight. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's very meaningful because I had actually two uh, ancestors who served that I'm aware of um, in the Union Army. Um, it's just, uh, we don't want to forget them for what they did. And the ceremonies come from the GAR, which is the Grand Army of the Republic the Veterans Organization. That was the original Civil War Union Veterans Organization. They decided once the last Union veteran passed away, the GAR would cease to exist, but they made provision for the Sons of Union Veterans Organization to take over. And since uh, 1881, I think, is our beginning date for the Sons of Union Veterans Group. And Ever since then, we've been so they were organizing them. the reunions at first, and then now they're organizing these events to yeah. remember and honor. Yeah, and the sons actually <laughs> initially had some some military uh, uh, units that actually served, like in the Spanish American War, they were, they were organized as uh, militia type units. We no longer do that. The uniformed component is the ceremonial. Uh, aspect of the Sons group now. So it's not a reenacting group, right. strictly uh, honoring ancestors and, and veterans That's as a whole. Sort of the collaboration with the BFWs and the American Legion kind of helps bring that about. Oh, yes, very, very much so. Do you all have ancestors at work? Yes, I have nine. Wow, nine of them? Yes. It was important to them, uh, important enough that they started the Sons of Veterans. And they didn't, they, the biggest thing with the Grand Army of the Republic is they did not want their memory forgotten about. And so they started the Sons, in which we are part of, and we carry on that tradition. We don't want America to forget what they did. And we hope that we can educate people about what they did so that they too will not forget. It's all about not forgetting. It's all about recognizing. So that's what we do. Well, we're working in the whole state. And as we go through the county by county, I mean, we're going to miss some, but um, but we also go back and, and recheck. We don't just walk through a county and then forget about it. So it will be an ongoing research, ongoing recognition, ongoing <laughs> marker dedications and installing markers and finding unmarked graves. Uh, it'll, hopefully it never stops. Great. Thank you so much.